Okay, so we're on the Vista machine. We're going to connect to our Ding Dong network. So we go to Start, Control Panel, and we look for Network Connections. And we don't find it. That's because it's not here. What we want is Network and Sharing Center. And as we can see right now by this graphic, we're not connected to anything. So where do we go to see our network connections? Well, we go into Manage Network Connections. And as we can see here, I've disabled the local area connection. And if I right click and go Properties on our wireless connection, there's no wireless networks tab up here. Why is this? Well, that's because in Vista, Microsoft has pretty much consolidated all the network settings into the Network and Sharing Center. If we wanted to see the wireless networking profiles on this computer, we would go to Manage Wireless Networks. And we'll see here that on this particular computer, we have no wireless profile set up. So how do we get the wireless profile we set up on our other machine onto this machine? Well, we could go add and then say manually create a network profile and then we can go through the whole drill of adding our SSID, our encryption type, and then either manually or copy and pasting our security key. That's the hard way. But what I want to show you is how to use Windows Connect now and our handy dandy USB device to create a network profile on this machine. Okay, watch how easy this is. I've got the USB device I pulled out of our other computer in my hand. I'm going to plug it into this computer. And right away, this pops up. And what we want is Wireless Network Setup Wizard. Click on that. And it asks us, do you want to add this computer to the wireless network ding dong? Well, do we? Well, I'd say yes, we do. You have successfully added this computer to the wireless network ding dong. Well, did it work? Let's go back to our networking sharing center and see if it did. Well, you remember, well, you'll remember earlier we had no connection. We had this big, fat, ugly X over here. And now all of a sudden, we're connected not only to the network, but to the internet. Now disregard Ding Dong 2 here. That just means that that's the second time I created a network called Ding Dong on this machine. So let's take a look at this networking sharing center. It says public network. Well, what does that mean? Well, public network means if we're in a coffee shop or a library or an airport or something. We don't really want people to be able to connect to us, and we're not really interested in what's going on with other computers on the network. So what public network does is it basically shuts down the ability of other computers to connect to our network. Well, that's fine for now, but later on, if we wanted to set up file and printer sharing, that would get in the way. So we can customize that by simply going private. And since we're behind a firewall, this is okay to do that. So let's click on this and see what we can find. Since we're now on a private network, it'll allow us to go through and connect if file and printer sharing is set up correctly on all these other machines and on these devices to connect to these other machines. Now this is the machine that we were on before. And allows us to get in there and connect to printers, folders, etc., etc. Now mind you, the wired network connection on this machine is disabled. We're doing this all wirelessly. After just plugging in the USB drive to the USB port and making one mouse click. At this point, we can simply take that USB drive out of the USB port and walk it around to all the other machines that we want to add to this network. As long as you're using Windows XP Service Pack 2 or above, Windows Vista or Windows 7, you should be okay. 
Okay, so what if it was the other way around and we started this whole operation on a Windows Vista machine and we wanted to connect an XP and say another Vista machine to our wireless network. Where do we go to create the USB flash drive on a Vista machine? Well, to do that, we go to set up a connection or network. And from here, we would go to set up a wireless router or access point. Okay, now before we go there, I just want to point something out down here. Choose this to connect to a hidden network or create a new wireless profile. So what that means to us is the procedure for creating a profile for a hidden network on Windows Vista is much more user friendly. So if we wanted to do that, we just go click next and then we can go back and do all that. But that's not what we want to do. So let's get back up here to set up connection or network and set up wireless router or access set up wireless router or access point click next and this basically gives us a rundown of what it is we're trying to do we already know what we're trying to do because you're watching this video click next and what it's doing here is it's looking for WPS enabled devices that have not been configured yet if it's able to find that it will list that and then what you can do is simply click on it and you can actually configure that wireless router from this interface without ever having to log on to that router's web interface. And if it doesn't find an unconfigured WPS device, it will give us the opportunity to actually go into the web page and configure it manually. But that's not what we're trying to do now. We've actually already configured our router. We know what we want and what we want to do is create a USB flash drive with our settings. So we just click on this and the network that we're interested in setting up is ding dong. Well actually we've let's not create multiple ding dongs on this computer. Let's just create a fictitious network just to see how this wizard works. what it does is it provides us with a passphrase already and then if we go down here we can say click a different passphrase and it also gives us the option to change our security options so we can change it from WPA to WPA2 click next and then we have some file and printer sharing options and what this does is it basically goes to other Windows Vista machines I'm not sure how well it works with XP machines but what it does is it configures other Windows Vista machines as far as network discovery file sharing public folder sharing printer and file sharing etc etc so what we want for now is we just want to say keep the custom settings I currently have click next now what it's going to do is it's going to ask us for our good old handy dandy USB drive and in the case of this computer, our USB drive is the G drive. And click Next. Now keep in mind, this is going to overwrite all those settings we had for our other network. But that's okay. This is just for demonstration purposes. And the important thing is that you understand what it is I'm doing. And it basically tells us to do the same thing as it did on the XP machine. So we can walk this USB drive around to all our other machines including XP machines and we should be able to simply insert the USB drive and say yes I want to add this computer to this wireless network and be done. Now when I hit close here it's going to delete all that information. But that's okay. So at this point I would hope you would agree that we have thoroughly covered how to set up wireless clients on Windows XP and Windows Vista using both the manual method and Windows Connect Now. As long as you have Windows XP Service Pack 2 and Windows Vista Service Pack 2, you should have no issues with this procedure. These procedures should work with just about any network device that supports Windows Connect Now, including the Xbox 360. And those devices need not support WPS. WPS, as you may remember, is Windows Protected Setup. 
which allows us to simply click on a button or enter an 8 digit numeric PIN to set up wireless security. And that's what we're going to discuss next. Now before we move on to WPS I do want to mention one caveat. The settings created on your router and your machines by Windows Protected Setup do not always mix and match well with the settings created by the manual methods we just used. So we're going to demonstrate WPS Windows Protected Setup next.